We have done a lot of phonological videos, phonology and phonetics videos, and we have discussed one of the phenomena in phonology is epenthesis. We have cases in which sounds are inserted, which is called insertion or more technically epenthesis. So what is insertion? Is a process by which one or more sounds, so it could be more than one, are inserted into a word or in between words, nothing becomes something. Let me give you some examples. Law and order. So law and order, right? In British English, it should be law and order. If you listen to British English speakers, you would hear an R here, which doesn't exist. There is no R here. Even in North American English, there's no R. This is called intrusive R. I don't know, maybe it's because of analogy, like car and a house, you see. British English speakers actually insert an R. They say law and order. Uh, I can give you another example of the, into the intrusive R. I saw it. I saw it. In RP or British English, I saw it. This is a fact about epenthesis, is epenthesis is not reflected in the orthography writing system, but is reflected in a spoken language because of the phone, a special phonotactic context. And if it does, becomes a rule, and then the language, people start writing it, then that would be a different discussion. That would be a discussion of language change. There is a lot that we can discuss about epenthesis. Uh, one of the questions you may ask is why does epenthesis happen in the first place? Epenthesis is something within the phonotactics of, of any language. Phonotactics is when how you put sounds together. If certain sounds that are put together, that may give rise to epenthesis. This, the title of today's video is there is a situation which is called language contact. For example, in this case, you could say that Brazilian Portuguese comes into contact with English. Control the match by keep playing the left, the right, in the middle. Have one best opportunity for a score. Iraq mark in the middle from behind. If Brazilian Portuguese is borrowing words from English, we already know that these are two different languages and English has its own phonology, which is different than Portuguese. Then the question becomes, how are you going to pronounce that English word as a speaker of Brazilian Portuguese? I think all you guys really do with Brazilian Portuguese is you take these words in English and you sexy them up and you just put an E on the end of it and you give it a whole sexy under pronunciation and you just give it back. Uh, you can say when a word is borrowed from English into Brazilian Portuguese, it is very likely that the Portuguese speaker is going to pronounce it differently. One of the differences with which we can explain the different pronunciations is epenthesis. It means that when Portuguese speakers borrow a word from English and they want to pronounce it their own way, they epenthesize a sound. Let me give you examples. We are talking about loan words having a consonant cluster SC. S here is just the sound S followed by a consonant. For example, the word spa, it has S and then it has a consonant. When it's borrowed into Brazilian Portuguese, it's pronounced ispa. So what is happening here? The E has been epenthesized. It doesn't exist. You know, in English, it's a spa. But in Portuguese, you insert this E in the beginning, word initial. So you can call this word initial epenthesis. So a spa becomes ispa. You can already guess that other words with a similar phonological context will undergo the same thing. For example, smoking will become ismoki, which is a word for tuxedo. The word slide becomes islide, or some people say silide. Again, you have an E insertion. So in the case of a slide, you have two variants. In both of them, you're epenthesizing E, 
but in one of them the apanthesis is word initial in the other one is word medial both variants are common in brazilian portions you already see that in brazilian portuguese they have a thing for e insertion e apanthesis and it's a very common thing and news for you it's not limited to language contact situations the interesting thing is that within the portuguese language itself there is a lot of e insertion in spoken language as opposed to writing so this is a situation of vowel apenthesis so every syllable has three parts onset nucleus and coda so onset is the beginning coda is the end so here you see so we break consonants in the onset or in the coda so let's look at these examples individually so the word for obtain in brazilian portuguese is obter or obter depending on the dialect if you want to speak more fluently and naturally you should say obter so there are other words and excuse my bad brazilian portuguese pronunciation but i'm going to pronounce these words so for example the word for uh, pickup which you would assume is captar but it's capitar and then compact is compactitu compactitu it's not compactu favor obsequio is obsequio so ob becomes obi so look when it's ob this is part of the coda so and you have one syllable so you break it into two syllables and this becomes part of the onset ob becomes obi fiction fiction it becomes ficção the hipnose atmosfera so it it would be at t but then when you have t in brazilian portuguese you you palatalize it and t becomes chi so it becomes atmosfera pigmel afita so if you want to learn to speak brazilian portuguese you need to learn how to speak it wrong and by this i mean wrong which means in a way that doesn't match the writing we started with examples from english and now i'm going to give more examples sometimes it is the case that you have brazilians who are learning english and they want to pronounce english the english way but they bring their tendency to apanthesize the e into english and then they end up pronouncing english words in a certain way all of which can be explained with the e apanthesis and these apanthesis could be word initial word final or word medial so top becomes topi staff is tefi here we have double e apanthesis club clubi surf suhfi sport sporti again you see your t becomes t and then t becomes chi palatalized clowny drinky all e apanthesis everywhere so you shouldn't be surprised if the word feedback and even facebook if there is an e here facebooky and feedbacky the word for facebook in brazilian portuguese is facebooky facebooky <laughs> it really works with a lot of things knocky outchi youtube feedbacky if you wanted some music <laughs> feedback hippy hoppy is that hippie a music hoppy. oh what a genre of music <laughs> So e apenthesis is a serious thing in Brazilian Portuguese it's within the language itself it also shows itself in the situations of language contact inside Brazilian Portuguese itself there are different speech styles or speaking styles and sometimes those styles are distinguished based on whether you apenthesize an e or not or how pronounced your e is it could be the case it is the case that in formal styles of portuguese there is no e apenthesis or the e that is apenthesized is pronounced much more quickly it's a very short version 